Hi, I'm Ken Newman from ZTO TV, and I'm sitting here with Ryan Francis, the uh, one of the stars from Thanks Killing, which is a uh, a pretty big uh, hit that uh, came to Columbus. Uh, about how many years ago was it? Oh, uh, it was launched. It was launched about 2009. And uh, how well did it do in the theater? Uh, it didn't have a theatrical release, but it when when it hit net when it hit Netflix, dude, it uh, blew up on the underground. Uh, probably about 2010, we started seeing fruits of the labor kind of expand. Mm -hmm. Lots of articles and lots of fans tweeting about it. It's a seasonal film, so Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving, you know, <laughs> you know it goes together. I mean, uh, right. you can't enjoy uh, Thanksgiving without uh, family killing each other. So it's only <laughs> only seems fitting that uh, they throw a uh, turkey. Now, the, the, this turkey, I understand, was noted for what? Oh, the turkey was a notorious serial killer, man. That guy was an asshole. Um, he had that tagline, gobble, gobble, motherfucker, as he shot as he shot out my best friend's belly. It was awful. My <laughs> yeah. poor best friend, Billy. That fucking asshole. <laughs> <laughs> Goddamn turkey. Now, now this uh, this uh, this movie was uh, filmed on a shoestring budget. How much uh, money was spent on this? Um, I think three thousand dollars. Most of it was spent on porn star Wanda Lust to get a titty <laughs> at the very beginning. We pride ourselves on the fact that the very first second of the film, um, the very first scene that you see, is literally an up close zoom in on her uh, Wanda Lust's nipple, and it zooms out from there, uh, so you can see her entire bosom. <laughs> it's completely fucked. <laughs> Not Don't watch it with your children. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I made that mistake. Fortunately, my kids were like two at the time. <laughs> but uh, all right, now uh, the, this turkey. Uh, I understand this, this film also made a first for uh, a turkey doing what to a girl. Um, the turkey raped somebody. So yeah, it was the very first. It was the very first film in history where there was a, a bestiality rape scene. With a turkey. <laughs> yeah, it sounds really weird to say it like that, but, <laughs> but anyway, I mean, it she, she, yeah, yeah. I mean, she turns her head around. She, the turkey's like, "Nice tits, bitch." Yeah, you've been stuffed. <laughs> you just got stuffed. <laughs> yeah, this is a good movie. I, I, I encourage anybody that wants to see a locally made film, go check this movie out. Thanks, Killing. It's, it's a, it's a movie you can see year round and still get some kicks out of it. Now, how many uh, Thanks Killings are there now? Um, right now, there's two. There's Thanks Killing, and then there's Thanks Killing Three. Um, Thanks Killing, yeah, it's it's weird. The eh? <laughs> uh, filmmakers decided to skip the sequel. Um, Thanks Killing Three is about uh, Turkey, so it focuses around the actual Turkey himself. And uh, it's a uh, Thanks Killing Two was made, and it was uh, the worst movie ever made. So the government found out about this and burned all the copies of Thanks Killing Two. So Thanks Killing Three is no about way. the Turkey. Yeah, Thanks Killing Three is about the Turkey trying to get one last copy. Oh, I got gotcha, you. I got gotcha, you. Yep. I got gotcha. you. Man, <laughs> threw what me the for hell? a loop, right? Yeah, yeah. All right. It's really confusing. Now, uh, <coughs> excuse me. Now, uh, the, this turkey. The, it, was, it was a little stuffed hand puppet. Basically, yeah, it was a latex hand puppet. A lot of people, as bizarre as it is, we don't deserve the credit all, but they compare it to the Muppets in Dark Crystal. No, Dark Crystal. Um, and which, which blows my mind because it's like, dude, that shit was professional. Um, but yeah, Troy Smith did an awesome job with the turkey. I mean, he looks like a puppet, mm. which is perfect. Do <laughs> hey, you have anything uh, with you to show of uh, Thanks Killing? Um, I do, I do, I do. I have a, uh, I've got a poster here. I got a, another project here. That, but yeah, this is the, this is the uh, first print, um, first uh, print of Thanks Killing that came out on DVD. This is what we had. Then there was a second print that came out when they were doing a Kickstarter campaign for Thanks Killing 3. Mm -hmm. They released a second print of Thanks Killing, which it's wild. It's like got retro colors and shit. It's like pretty bright and whatnot. But yeah, geniuses, man. These guys. Now, uh, do you have any uh, projects you're uh, working on? I do. I've got a, uh, I've got a new one coming out. Um, I produced a film called uh, The Biker Warrior Babe versus The Zombie Babies from Hell. Um, basically about this... Uh, this Deem this summoning sacrifice that went completely wrong, and because the witch that was trying to do it fucked up, it unleashed all these demonic zombie babies from hell to attack <laughs> the city. So it's up to Zip, the biker warrior babe, to send these babies back to hell where they came from. Nice. Yeah. Well, awesome. Uh, so uh, since uh, the uh, movie Thanks Killing came out, and you've been working on this film, uh, 
what have you been doing uh, besides uh, working on movies and projects? Um, I mean, movies take up a lot of time, especially doing the post-production on Biker Warrior Babe. That's going to be coming out in December, um, on demand, uh, video on demand, uh, Hulu, Amazon, all that stuff. Um, but I, I try to do a lot of charity work. I work for an organization called Love, Hope, Strength. Um, I basically go to concerts, so uh, Misfits, um, you know, Andrew McMahon, any, like any, any touring band, I go to these concerts and I sign people up for the bone marrow transplant list. So if, you know, all you do is take a cotton swab, swab the inside of your cheeks, and you may find, you know, you may find that your bone marrow can save somebody's life, or like a blood, can you know, cancer of the blood or anything like that, leukemias. Uh, yeah, I remember, um, I remember you did that at uh, your last event that, uh, uh, down there in Columbus, uh, what was that? The uh, Huge Huge Holiday yeah, Show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, um, once a year in Columbus, I do the Huge Huge Holiday Show. I get together a bunch of local bands um, and pretty much just have this giant concert with comedians and musicians, and it uh, it's free with the donation of a winter clothing item for the homeless. And it's so far, it's like been a really successful uh, string of shows. We got another one coming up um, at Bernie's Distillery this year on 12, 13, 14. Uh, so really looking forward to that. Uh, the Scratches are going to be playing. They're an amazing local band. Um, the Scott Shank Redemption, uh, Nerd Table. Uh, yeah, it's jam-packed. Uh, Swarm, a bunch of really awesome local bands are going to be playing that. Well, awesome. Sounds like you, uh, you're you a busy man and uh, you're making some good time with yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Always, uh, always time to help people out and uh, make really awesome, gory, gross, offensive <laughs> movies, right? That's always the best, the best kind of movies. <laughs> All right. Um, well, thank you very much for uh, joining us on uh, ZTO. Oh, dude, my pleasure. Thanks for having me on. And uh, enjoy uh, EpicCon, and I uh, hope you uh, don't get yourself in too much trouble over there at your, your little crossroads you're in. I'm gonna, uh, DDP's <laughs> going to put me in a diamond cutter. I'm so <laughs> fucked. It's going to be great. All right. Thank you very much. <laughs> thank this is you. ZTO TV, and I'm Ken Newman. Thank you very much. Awesome, man. Thank you. Dude, thank you. after us and if we don't get the hell out of here we're as good as dead fuck you the only thing that's strange out there are probably like raccoons fucking okay nobody kills cranberry lakes babes Zombie Takeover TV. Join the Horde. Join the Horde.